Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, today I'm going to discuss the connection between neurolinguistics and uh, psycholinguistics. Uh, my today's discussion is based on uh, David W. Carroll's book, Psychology of Language. Uh, dear students, in order to be able to understand the connection and difference between neurolinguistics and psycholinguistics, it is important for us to define and discuss briefly what is psycholinguistics. Uh, like many other fields, psycholinguistics has been defined variously by different critics. Uh, one definition is that it is the study of the mental aspects of language and speech and is uh, primarily concerned with the ways in which language is represented and processed in brain. Another uh, comprehensive definition of psycholinguistics is uh, psycholinguistics is the study of the mental processes and skills underlying the production and comprehension of language and of acquisition of these skills. So uh, there are three main areas covered by psycholinguistics production of language, comprehension of language, and acquisition of these skills. Psycholinguistics is uh, mainly an integration of two fields, psychology and uh, lingu linguistics. Linguistics is uh, the scientific study of the origin, structure, and uh, use of language. Uh, in the nutshell, uh, psycholinguistics is an interdisciplinary uh, field which is a part of cognitive science. Cognitive science, uh, in turn, is also an interdisciplinary field which uh, relies upon the insights of psychologists, linguists, neuroscientists and philosophers to study mind and mental processes. Uh, neurolinguistics, on the other hand, studies the relationship between the brain and language. It is concerned with those neural mechanisms in the human uh, brain that control the language production, comprehension and acquisition. Neurolinguistics uh, also is an interdisciplinary field which makes use of methods and theories of other fields such as neuroscience, linguistics, cognitive science, communication disorders and neuropsychology. Uh, psycholinguistics is concerned with what happens, that is, the the production, comprehension, and acquisition of language, while uh, neurolinguistics is concerned with how does it happen, that is, how does human brain make production, comprehension, and acquisition of language happen. Psycholinguistics uh, deals with production and comprehension of language along with their component processes and how do we acquire these skills of language production and comprehension whereas neurolinguistics uh, delves deep into those complex brain mechanisms which are involved in language production and comprehension. Uh, these are a few contrasting features of psycholinguistics and neurolinguistics uh, uh, which are quite helpful in understanding the essential nature of the two. Uh, these uh, differentiating uh, features also help us grasp the connection between psycholinguistics 
and uh, neurolinguistics. Both psycholinguistics and uh, neurolinguistics are essentially related to, at the first place, the production, comprehension, and acquisition of language by human brain. At the second place, uh, psycholinguistics takes into consideration the component processes of language production and uh, comprehension. Production involves three component processes, conceptualizing, formulating, and articulating, while uh, comprehension involves two component processes, perceptual decoding and uh, interpreting. Uh, neurolinguistics uh, goes one step further and tries to analyze and study those complex mechanisms in brain that uh, control these processes and cause them to happen as desired. Uh, some of the areas covered by neurolinguistics are how our brain works. Human brain is like a, strong, a storing device that stores information in networks of brain cells, neurons and glial cells. These uh, neurons are linked to those parts of brain that control movements, including those which produce speech. Another important thing dealt in by neurolinguistics is uh, which part of the brain contains language. The parts of the brain that are essential and important for language, both uh, spoken and written, are situated in the left side of the cortex of brain, the left hemisphere. We have come to know this uh, because of aphasia, which in most cases is caused by an injury to the left hemisphere. Uh, aphasia itself is an important theme of neurolinguistics. Aphasia is actually uh, the loss, loss of ability to speak which results from brain damage or injury. Although the main focus of psycholinguistics is on the language processes in normal human beings, but studying those human beings who have uh, impaired language functioning uh, can help us a lot in understanding language processes in normal human beings. Uh, similarly, uh, dyslexia, dyslexia and stuttering are also important themes of neurolinguistics. Dyslexia is a language disorder in which children cannot learn to talk uh, even though their hearing ability is normal. Similarly, stuttering is an unconscious repetition of sounds in a word. Uh, students, these themes of neurolinguistics ultimately lead to better understanding of language processes in normal human beings. Uh, in other words, uh, studies in neurolinguistics are not only related to but also supplement the understanding of psycholinguistics. Thank you.